Hi Filipino learners, my name is JC. Kumusta kayo? In today's video, we will once again talk about more usage of the Tagalog word ang. The word ang is used widely in the Tagalog language and in my channel, I have talked about ang a few times. The first time, I discussed how it can be used as a subject marker for simple sentences. And the other time, I talked about what it means when ang is used before an adjective. Like, ang ganda mo, you are beautiful, and ang talino mo, you are smart. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll be placing a link for them in the description and at the upper right corner of this video. Now today, we will talk about more uses of ang. This lesson is a bit advanced, but I'll try to make it as simple as I can. To begin, I have here a very simple Tagalog sentence. Nagsulat ng tula si Harry. This simply means Harry wrote a poem. But what if the sentence is constructed like this? Si Harry ang nagsulat ng tula. First thing you will notice is that si Harry, the doer of the action and also the subject, was placed at the beginning. And if you look at the verb nagsulat or wrote, an ang was placed before it. So, how do these changes affect the meaning of the sentence? If you construct it this way, what this will now mean is Harry was the one who wrote the poem. Or it was Harry who wrote the poem. So it answers the question, who did the action? Or in this case, who wrote the poem? It's like it wasn't clear who did the action and you are clarifying. You are saying who did it. Okay, isa pang halimbawa. Gumawa ng cake si Alex. This one means Alex made a cake. But if you want to say or tell people, it was Alex who made the cake or Alex was the one who made the cake. You say, si Alex ang gumawa ng cake. So again, we added ang before the verb. And then the subject, or who did the action, was placed at the beginning of the sentence. Another example, nanalo ako sa loto. So this one is, I won the lottery. But if you say, ako ang nanalo sa loto, this would mean, I was the one who won the lottery, or it was I who won the lottery. Okay, one last example. Pumili kayo ng kulay means you chose the color. But if you say, kayo ang pumili ng kulay, di ba? This would mean it was you who chose the color, right? Or you were the one who chose the color, right? And a little side note, di ba is right. And this one, di is the shortened form of hindi or no in English. And then ba is a word that we add to questions in Tagalog. So if you use di ba, you're asking or you're confirming if something is correct. Ikaw ang nagluto nito, di ba? You cook this, right? Now, all my examples answers who did the action or you use it when you want to say or tell people who did the action but it doesn't only have to be an action like for this example si arnold ang may ari ng bag arnold is the owner of the bag so this time this statement answers who the owner of the bag is or you're telling people who the owner of the bag is and again Looking closely at this sentence, the subject or the answer to who the owner of the bag is goes first. 
And then ang is placed before may ari ng bag. Isa pang halimbawa, si Kelsey ang presidente ng klase. Kelsey is the president of the class. So this time, this statement answers who the president of the class is, or it tells people who the president of the class is. Okay, now let us proceed to another usage of ang. You can also use ang when answering or stating who the most or what is the most. Like for example, si Kim ang pinakamapagbigay na taong nakilala ko. Kim is the most generous person that I've ever met. So this time, we placed ang before pinakamapagbigay, or in English, most generous person. And if you think about it, this statement also answers who, right? Just like our previous examples. It answers the question, who is the most generous person I've met? A few more examples. Si Elisa ang pinakamatangkad sa pamilya. Elisa is the tallest in the family. Siya ang pinakabata sa klase. He or she is the youngest in class. Ito ang pinakamahal na sapatos ko. This is my most expensive shoes. So, um, this time... It answers what, right? What is my most expensive shoes? Well, there you go. That's it for this video. I hope I was able to help you. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, you may subscribe to this channel. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Sa susunod ulit. Paalam.